So let's just jump on in. This is Roblox, an introduction to creating Roblox wearables. And uh, if you don't know, Roblox is absolutely huge uh, as a platform, as a gaming platform. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but brands left and right, one after another, are jumping into Roblox and establishing them themselves. This is how they're establishing themselves in the metaverse. And so you got Walmart up here. That's one of the most recent big ones. You could shop Walmart right from inside of Roblox. Uh, Vans, Gap, Gucci, Barbie, American Eagle, Hyundai, which is a car brand, uh, Forever 21, West Elm, which is a, I think it's outdoor furniture. It was another recent one and, and more. I mean, so many, uh, you know, brand after brand after brand and not just brands, but celebrities are going into Roblox. They're building their own uh, little worlds in Roblox. They're building their games. They're building their experiences. They're having full on concerts and uh, Roblox is absolutely um, the, pr the primary, the number one platform for the metaverse that people are uh, tapping into. And, and with, um, well, let's just look at some stats actually here in a minute. Let me just go on to the next slide. Uh, some things about Roblox. 50 million daily users over on Roblox. All right, guys, that is absolutely insane. Um, $525 million, so a half a billion dollars was paid out to Roblox creators last year in 2021. And so uh, that number is going up. This year was even more, a lot more uh, items have been debbed out, a lot more games, a lot more items have been created. And so that number is going up. And the thing is, is Roblox is not a game. People think that Roblox is simply a game, but it is not a game. Roblox is a platform to build games. If you go over to Roblox, you don't jump in and play the Roblox game like you would like Super Mario Brothers, right? Uh, as older generation, we grew up on these games where you just enter into the game. That's not how Roblox is. It's actually a platform to build games. There's millions and millions of games on Roblox. Actually, each one of those games has been, has been developed and designed by an individual like you or I, okay? And so um, every that's how they actually monetize. That's how they, they market the Roblox platform is, you could come on, you could build your own experiences, you could sell your own items. And uh, as a result of that, 50 million daily users and last year, $525 million paid to creators. All right, so absolutely insane, the numbers. And um, some other key stat, stats right here, Roblox generated 1.9 billion in revenue, um, you know, up from the year before. It has doubled its revenue for the past two years. It's got 50 million people daily and then 525 paid out to its dev program. And the de uh, developer exchange is um, the, um, the builders of Roblox, okay? And, and so there's several different ways to build on Roblox. We'll talk about that uh, maybe a little bit today, but um, definitely in some, some future more advanced trainings. But um, you know, there's several different ways to, to build on Roblox, and we're just going to talk about one specific one today, okay? And that's classic clothing, all right? So um, let me just check and make sure that this is still working along over there. Okay, nice, awesome. And uh, so yeah, let's keep on moving. So this is what we're going to cover today. This training isn't going to go too long. I would expect maybe 30 minutes. Uh, but what we're going to cover is classic versus 2D clothes, or excuse me, 3D clothing. So like I said, there's a difference between classic Roblox clothing and then 3D Roblox clothing. There's several different ways to sell on Roblox. And so uh, we're going to talk about the difference between the two. And then we're going to talk about a demo, or I'm going to give you a demo of classic clothing, how to edit this clothing, and um, basically edit it, show it, and utilize it, and then how to sell Roblox and real life items. Classic versus 3D clothing. So now let's jump really into the training. And this is basically an introduction to wearables. This isn't just about Roblox. I wanna start introducing you to wearables in general. And I felt that talking about classic Roblox clothing was the best way to do that. Classic Roblox clothing requires a 2D template. So you have this image 
here this square template that you would fill in the different pieces and that would wrap around the Roblox character and that is the template that you would use and it's a 2D template so this flat square image being 2D and it's going to wrap onto these characters and it's going to turn into like a 3D type item. Now that's completely different though than creating 3D clothing. There's 3D layered clothing or layered 3D clothing on Roblox and that's different. That's something that you're not going to use a 2D template like this. You'll use something similar which is called a UV map which I'll talk about a little bit in a minute. Um, and, and that's something that you could actually edit on Mod Studio. So 3D items to create like these advanced characters and these advanced items, you're going to have to use Mod Studio or another tool like that. We recommend Mod Studio because, well, it's mine. It's my tool and also it's free. It's something easy to use and um, very simple to get started with. All right. So uh, 2D, classic 2D templates. Uh, item or items, I, sh I guess I should say, items that are made with these 2D templates. Anybody could sell these. You just gotta have to have a premium Roblox account, which is like four dollars a month, four ninety nine a month, or something like that. And then you have the ability to sell classic, classic items. Okay, so anybody could do that. But to sell 3D item, you items, you actually have to be approved as a UGC creator for Roblox. Okay, to sell them on the marketplace. Now there are other ways to sell them. You could sell them on third-party marketplaces and you could sell them in groups. You could sell them in your own experiences. There's a lot of ways you can do it, uh, but to be used across the Roblox platform on any game to where you could take your character and go into you know all the different Roblox games and have the same clothing, you have to be approved as a UGC creator. Okay, So uh, we'll talk more about that at some other point. Those items you can modify on mod. But today we're just going to talk about this classic, okay? That's what we're going to talk about, classic Roblox clothing. So uh, to give you an example or, or to show you where we're going with 3D clothing, because I want you to keep watching more videos and learn more about uh, creating wearables for the metaverse, um, I want to give you an example here or a comparison here of 2D versus 3D and how they're edited. So this is a 2D template here. And you can see that it's this template that we have here, just designed a little bit better. And this is actually a t-shirt with a design here in the middle. It's a red shirt and it has that design. Now this is a Roblox template. And over here on the right hand side, this is a UV texture map template for a 3D item. So in Mod Studio, you would edit a template like this one and upload it into Mod Studio, and it'll paint the wearable, or it'll, it'll uh, create a 3D item, an edited 3D item, customized 3D item. Well, for Roblox Classic, you're gonna have a more simplified version, okay? So these are very simple, uh, or very similar, I guess I should say, but very simple as well. They're um, two different, completely different types of wearables. This is 2D template on classic three, uh, classic Roblox wearables, and this is a UV texture map that goes on 3D wearables. Okay, so uh, we're not going to talk about that a whole lot more in this training. As a matter of fact, I don't know if I'm going to talk talk on it at all. All we're really going to focus on in the, is this simple one. Okay, this is the the most simplest version, and it's perfect for getting to know Roblox wearables. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to take a, a uh, Christmas gamer shirt. So I found this design over on Etsy. You could buy the design for like $2.99. I'm not actually going to sell it, so I'm just going to snag this image and, and edit the image. Um, give it to you just for demo sake. This is just for demo sake. Uh, but you could buy these designs over on Etsy all day long and sell your own items. And the cool thing is, is a lot of these designs have been sold already on just normal print on demand. Maybe they've been edited a little bit and sold in print on demand but none of them have been sold in the metaverse. So, you know, if you're gonna take the, these items or these designs, you don't have to worry about them already being, you know, oversold or, or um, you know, played out or anything like that because they've never been sold on the metaverse yet, okay? And so, um, we're gonna take this design and I'm gonna show you how to put it onto a Roblox shirt and then I'm gonna show you how to do print on demand with it and then um, show you how to demo it and sell it, okay? 
So I'm not going to walk through all of that. I'm only going to walk through the editing part and then the viewing part, and then I'm just going to talk about the rest. So what I have here is an app called Pixlr. It's just a web app. It's like Canva. Um, I really like this one for my Roblox items for several reasons. It's very easy to use, and you, I could do just about anything I need to be able to do for my Roblox items. But one of the main reasons is it actually has Roblox templates over here. If you come to Pixlr and you go to the templates, you could scroll over this way. Where's that? Roblox right up here. So I'm just going to click on that Roblox template and look at all these different Roblox templates already filled in. This is that same template, but already filled in, right? So that that's actually, these are starter assets. Like I could take a design that maybe I might not be able to create all from, you know, all of it from the start, but I could edit it and make it my own. So I'm gonna just give you an example of that. Um, I don't have premium, so I gotta find a free one here. I like that. Let's do the jersey, I think. Let's see if there's any more. Yeah, let's just go back up there and do that jersey. Use this template, and then it loads it in. All right, so I have the template here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and open up. I have the main Roblox template, and I'm just gonna add it over this and drop it underneath on the layer and you could see the the template this is the main template and you could see how the shirt lays out over that top portion so let's look at these templates real quick and talk about how they work so this is the torso template you also have one that's for the bottom half of the body as well but for the torso template this top section is for just that middle torso piece. It doesn't include the arms. The arms are down here. So you have the right arm and the left arm. And you can see it wraps around the arms and the torso. See this is the up blue. That's this little up piece right underneath the head. See the red front. That's this piece right here. You see the left arm front and the right arm front or vice versa. That's these reds right here. And see it just wraps around the arm, wraps around the torso. Okay. Very, very simple, very straightforward. Um, sometimes it's hard to imagine how it's going to look, but once you get used to it, it's not that that difficult. Okay, so when I turn this one back on, notice it, this is a jersey, a basketball jersey. So it doesn't have arms; it just wraps around that torso. So you notice that it doesn't have anything down here on the arms. So if I hide this one, this piece is empty. See, it's transparent. Everything else is transparent. So what are we going to do? Well, let's uh, let's change this up a little bit. Let's see what we could do. We could um, first let's change. Uh, I want to color. Get rid of the number. Let's get rid of the number first. How am I going to do that here? I have an idea. I could add a shape, and then. Take that shape, put it right there, change the color, get the eyedropper, and see if we can match it up. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm sure that'll be good enough. Eh. Let's change it a little bit more. Let's see. That'll work. It's good enough for now. Uh, just demo sake, and you won't really notice it later anyways. All right, so let's do the same thing for that, boom. All right, that's good enough. I'm happy with that. And then we could right click, merge down, merge down, boom. So now you see it's just the jersey, and then what we could do is change the color maybe. Um, there's several different ways to do that. So don't worry about the rest of the template. None of this other stuff matters. Nothing else matters. It just matter. What all that matters is the design that you added. I'm not going to do that part. I'm just going to leave that alone. 
And let's see, let's look for another way to change the color here. I don't remember all the ways. Shape tool, pen tool, eraser. Hmm. I thought there was a, a paint bucket. Let's see. And we could use some of these other things, these other retouch and all that, if I want to get rid of those lines that we had in there, but I'm not going to do that. Let's see, fill maybe, I think that was, no. Um, yeah, see, that's not what we want. Cut out, I can do, I think I could do that. I think I could cut it out. I could do like a magic cut out. No, hmm. Because then how am I gonna color it in? I was gonna cut out all the red and then color it in. Let's see. thought they had a dump tool so maybe maybe I'll just color it some other way hmm paint pen eraser yeah see there isn't huh I thought there, I thought there was a um, paint or a dump tool on this one. All right, well, let me think about this real quick. Maybe I could just do a, um, just do the color tinting that I wanted to. There, we'll, we'll do it like that. I'm happy with that. Um, apply. And then, because remember, nothing else really matters. It's just what matters, you know, what's in the template, template that matters. All right, so now I am going to add, um, and I'm just giving you a demo right now, really quickly before we go into our, our shirt. I'm, I'm just giving you a quick demo. That's why I didn't want to take too long on any of this. Um, let's go back. And alrighty, add the current. Boom. So actually, let's just put it on the back that would go right there all right so I'm gonna save this as transparent I'm gonna click Save as and then download and then I am gonna call call this one what are we gonna call this one um, just Jersey blue now I'll show you this just because I wanted to give you a demo before we actually start creating the um, the other shirt. I wanted to go through this a couple times. So in Roblox Studio, I'll walk through this a second time here in a minute, but I just want to show you one time really quickly. I could come over here to Roblox Studio and I could change this shirt template um, by adding it over here. Actually, I got to drop it over here. So I go to images. And again, like I said, I'm going to show you how to do this here in a minute. But for right now, um, where is my import? Why is it not working? Maybe I could drag. No, nope, it's not going to let me drag and drop. Oh, I know why. Because I am playing, so I gotta go back 
there. Now we can do it. Open. Boom. It imported. Now hit play. And like I said, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. I just wanted to show you this item on here. Boom. All right. So now I have my jersey on with my mod logo on the back. All right. So that's very easy. Now, let me stop this. I'm going to shut this down and close this out. We're going to close this. And that was just the Roblox templates. I wanted to show you the Roblox templates just so that you uh, knew that they were there and how to edit those and, and whatnot. Okay, because you know, you'll have an endless supply of stuff to, to do there. All right, but let's go back to this. This is what we want to create now. And so now let's jump into that, all right? So I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna pick my template or my, um, get rid of this one. I'll pick this template that I already have in here. All right, so this is the normal template that I have that I normally use. This is the torso up here, this is the right arm, and this is the left arm, okay? So we're gonna fill these in, and remember, we're gonna make this shirt here, this design here, and to do that, we have to bring it down, boom, Boom, shrink it. And then what we gotta do is cut it. Actually, yeah, it's gonna be cut. And then actually before I do that, let's get it straight as we can and then cut. Because then I could use this shape and we want to keep what's in the shape. Okay. So then I should just be able to click like this. Boom. And it cut out everything else. Exactly what I wanted. Come back over here. And then rearrange it to get right there in the middle. Remember, this is the torso area. And boom. Now that's there. Now remember, it's a black shirt. It's a black t-shirt. So we have to actually make the, oops, make the shirt black. So I'm gonna come right here and then put that underneath, change the color. All right, boom, now it'll be all black. Actually, I should match the color up a little bit better to the design. There you go, boom. And then what I could do is, because it's a t-shirt, I have to do the arms as part sleeves, just as a normal t-shirt would be. So I'm gonna take that and just to keep it easy, Boom. Boom. So then about half the arm will be covered and then the other half won't because it's a t-shirt. Oh, look at that, that square got moved over. You gotta make sure that your whole area is covered. Okay. So now we have, this is my Christmas shirt. It's a t-shirt. It should be done. The template should be done. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save save as a Christmas gamer. Boom. Now let's pop open Roblox Studio again. And remember what you're gonna do, I'm gonna walk you through it this time. We're gonna actually gonna edit or exit this and go to a new one. And I'm gonna walk you through the full process. It takes a little bit longer, a few more steps than what I showed you before. So to use Roblox Studio, you're gonna to wanna to go download it it's for PC and Mac. And once you have it, uh, you wanna be able, or you wanna first go over and click Save to Roblox, okay? You're gonna have a, just a new template, base template, and you wanna click on Save to Roblox. What that's gonna do is, it's gonna give you a server over on Roblox 
where you could start building on. If you don't have that server over on Roblox yet, or if you don't have it saved to Roblox yet, it's not going to have anywhere to save your images, right? And so first you have to save it to Roblox, create a server, and I'm just going to call this demo because that's all it is, is a demo. All right. And then um, I'm not going to worry about anything else right now. I'm just going to hit save and boom. There, it created the server over there. And now it's giving me a workspace that's connected to the Roblox server. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on images right here. That's the only one we're going to worry about right now. Later on, for more advanced stuff with 3D wearables and whatnot, we're going to use meshes and, and other things. But for right now, we just want to open up the images file folder, click on import, and then we're going to grab our t-shirt, wait for it to go, and then close this out. Now it's there. So then what we're going to do, we're just demoing it right now. We just want to see what it looks like. We're going to come over here. We're going to hit play. And it's loading demo. Now this is my character right here. You notice that he doesn't have the Roblox shirt on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to workspace, open it up and find the name of my character. Now if you don't have a Roblox account, then, well, you won't have Roblox Studio. You have to have a Roblox account. Sign in, sign up for Roblox. It's free. Get Roblox Studio. It's free. Sign into your Roblox account and then that's where you're going to find your username here. So this is my username right there. I'm going to open it up and look, there's shirt right there. If I click on the shirt, come down here to the properties, you see this shirt template. I could change that template to the one that I just uploaded my images file by clicking here and then clicking on Christmas Gamer. And boom, look at that. He's got the shirt on. All right? This is my Christmas gaming shirt. Now you can see how it has that line right there. It's just this Roblox character. They're all different. If I had a different body, it might look a little bit differently. So you might want to play around with it and see how they look on the shirt. Like maybe I could shrink it a little bit more and just make it stay on this upper torso part. Um, a lot of different things I could do. Uh, notice that my, my um, arms, it looks like it's coming down into the crease a little bit more or a little bit, so maybe I could make them a little bit shorter. A uh, few things that I could do here to make this look a little bit better. And so, um, well, let's just do that real quick. I'll just show you how to go back and edit. Where were we at? Um, over here, so let's take this design, and like I said, just make it a little bit smaller. And then, Boom. And then another thing we could do is we could actually take this part and um, let's see. We could draw a shape. We could draw a shape. Oops. Delete. Circle. Oops. Control Z. Control. Come on. Um, there we go. Now, let's do this again. Boom. Shape. Circle. Boom. There. I don't know what I was doing before, but whatever. There we go. Now we can take this like that and make it. Um, white. No, you know what? Let's not do that. I have a better idea. Let's take the cut cut tool. No, was it cut? Adjust. All right, let's figure it out. Which one do I need? I want that item. Select an image or a layer. Okay, let's cancel. I don't know what's going on here. Select an image layer hmm um i guess i can't do it with that i guess you could only do it with images i was going to cut a hole 
I was going to cut a hole, put rasterize text element layer to create a cutout on. So how do you how do you do that? Maybe you have to be maybe you have to be premium. Or hmm, let's try it this way. I could do this, and then oops. Bring it over here. So what I'm trying to do is do a net cutout, and then maybe mask. It's not gonna work. Um, alpha, yeah, boom. Figured it out, nice. So now we have a neck hole right there. All that for that, to, so that we could make it look a little bit different. And then, boom, save, save as. And um, save it as that. Um, and then come back over here to Roblox Studio, make sure it's stopped, and upload, grab that shirt, boom, it's uploading it, oh, um, asset has been renamed to one, because remember they you know, had the same name already, so we hit play, and then workspace, choose my character, choose shirt, choose my new template and now let's see how he looks look at that I like that now see how the body the torso is gray underneath you could actually go down the humanoid and um, right maybe it's body colors torso color um, white or whatever color you want to make it See how it's got the neck now though? Oh, I forgot to make the sleeves a little bit shorter. That's fine, whatever. Uh, we got the design here in the middle a little bit more. And you know, I'm not trying to be perfect there. I just want to give you a demo, but it works. You know? And so then what I would do is, now that I have that Roblox template, let's just say we're happy with it. Let's just go ahead and close out Roblox Studio. We're happy with this template that we have. What would we do with that? How would we sell it? Well, uh, first what I would do is I would go to a print-on-demand platform. There's a lot of these. There's like Amazon Merch. There's uh, Teespring. I mean, there's a million and one print-on-demand platforms. Just search print-on-demand if you don't know and uh, just grab almost any of the platforms and basically grab a black t-shirt take the design that you got you know we would have got this design from Etsy we probably would have edited it a little bit and then we would have um, you know done our thing like we just did but then we would take that same design and take it over and put it onto a t-shirt and then we would sell that t-shirt or we, we would sell the Roblox t-shirt we could do either one there's a couple different ways to do that I'll talk about the offer here in a minute uh, but but that's essentially what we would do is we'd take that uh, same design, put it on a real t-shirt, go sell it, and put it on the Roblox item, go sell it, or some other offer, all right? And then um, we've already viewed it, so let's see what else I have here. Selling Roblox class, classic items. All right, so you must be a premium user to sell on the Roblox store. You have to be a premium user, and it's only $4.99 a month. It gives you 450 Robux, and you can use those Robux to uh, buy different things or sell different things because it does cost I think like 10 Robux to sell an item to list an item um, you could also create Roblo Roblox groups and these Roblox groups could be like um, niched down stores so like um, yeah we just did this Christmas sweater looking t-shirt so you could do a ugly Christmas sweater Roblox collection and have a group all built towards that and then you go people go into the group and then they could check out the different items that you have in there um, so Roblox groups are a good way to do that um, and it costs a hundred Robux to create a group. So when you sign up for a, a premium user, it, like I said, it costs $4.99, but you get a lot, a lot of little perks out of it. It's totally worth it if you're going to start going into this space. I mean, what's what's $4.99, right? Worst case scenario, give the Robux to your kids. All right. Um, 
must be a premium user to sell in the store, but there are other ways around it. I'm not gonna go into all the different ways. Just want to keep to the basics now. Uh, here's a tip. This is what I would do. I would sell the item on like Teespring. I would go to a print on demand platform. I would sell, you know, maybe on my Shopify store, Amazon merch, wherever you're gonna do it, sell the t-shirt and you would do targeting towards gamers. You would make, obviously, you know, it's a gaming shirt. This is my Christmas gaming shirt. You know, it's a, it's a gaming shirt. So obviously you're gonna tar target gamers, but you're gonna also target people who play Roblox, right? Because it's specifically for Roblox, the, the digital one is, right? The digital item. And this is actually called fidget, phys, physical. I have physical there. Why is it? I, I must, um, oh wait, no, I had that right. That's right. I think I mentioned fidgetal somewhere though. Okay, yeah, fidgetal. So that's actually called fidgetal. The digital and the physical is called fidgetal, okay? And so what you would do is you would sell the physical product on Teespring or Amazon Merch or one of these other platforms. And then what you would do is you would take the um, list or the email, whatever, and say, hey, go get the free Roblox uh, item or join my group or something like that, right? That's what I would, I would typically do or typically suggest doing is create a group and just every one of your buyers that buy your t-shirt or buy your item or whatever it is that you're selling um, in the physical, just send them over to your group and claim the, the digital version of that, okay? And there's a lot of reasons for that. For one, you wanna get activity into your group so that you can get outside people. Roblox will start showing your group if you send people to it. So if you send 100 people into your group, you know, from, you know, normal marketing, Roblox will notice that. They'll say, oh, wow, people are seeing this group. They're going into this group. They like this group. And then Roblox is going to start showing traffic to that group, right? It's just going to, in the algorithm on Roblox, they're just going to want to show that group and suggest it. Um, so that's one reason. And the other reason is you can actually advertise your groups on Roblox, right? And so, like, let's say you're doing a gamer Christmas theme, you know, like this. You're doing a whole collection like these, and you have a whole group on it. You could actually promote that group and it'll have banners all over Roblox and it'll tell people, hey, come get these Christmas items, come into this group and so on and so forth. So you can do really good marketing by having those those groups right there on Roblox. Okay. So um, let's see, what else do I have here? I think that was the last slide. Yeah, that's, that's the last slide here. Um, just wanted to really keep, keep this one simple. I wanted to introduce you guys to these templates. Let me just scroll back and go through a review on this. Um, basically, you know, these 2D templates, the 2D templates, the ones that we just edited here, this is a um, entry level or, or a, a beginner's example or a beginner's exercise to introduce you to how to do real 3D editing on Mod Studio. Because on Mod Studio, you're gonna edit texture maps like these ones over here on the right, which are very similar to this 2D template that we just edited here on Roblox, okay? So it's very simple, very very similar, uh, but there is a difference. You can see that this Roblox one is pretty much, I mean, as simple as you could possibly get. Whereas this one, it's a little bit curved. There's some other stuff that's going on there, um, some, some uh, you know, these polys, you don't know what any of that means yet, probably. Um, you know, mod, uh, it's not backward, well, it's kind of backwards and upside down, but if you flip this around, it's not. Um, you know, it's got, you got the individual um, sleeves that you could edit, right? So it's a little bit different than just this square blocky stuff that you just fill in, okay? But it's very similar. It's very, very similar, all right? So then, um, yeah, we, what we did is we found a design on Etsy. We uh, took that design where we talked about throwing it onto print on demand, and then we showed you how to edit it over here on Pixlr and download that template and then open up Roblox Studio and put it onto a uh, Roblox character for a demo just to make sure it works good. And then what you would do is you'd upload it over into Roblox. Again, that's more advanced stuff. I'm not going to go into that now. I just wanted to show you, just wanted to introduce you to editing wearables on Roblox, okay? So 
I think that's it. That's, I think that's all. Um, oops, wrong slide. Let's see. Let's go back over here. Don't forget about this over here in templates, templates, and Roblox. This can get you started making stuff. Just come over here, start grabbing any of these templates. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all. I'm going to go ahead and end this live.